Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. The very random YouTube channel continues to get random. Today we are checking out some more amazing nature in Jerusalem. This place has more than 2,000 animals stretching over more than 200 different species with a particular focus on Afro-Asiatic species. So we've just seen kangaroos. I'm about to crawl into this little thing here to go check out meerkats at eye level. And this place is usually packed with children. We're coming here on a Thursday, took a little extended lunch break at about two o'clock in the afternoon. And that's my pro tip. There is literally almost nobody here. If you're in Jerusalem and you like animals, this place is really, really, uh, really interesting. It's, it cost us 64 shekels for an adult pass, which works out probably in the region of uh, $15. But if you're gonna be in Jerusalem for a while, the prices for the annual memberships are actually pretty competitive when you look at how much the day passes cost. Um, if you do go for the memberships, it doesn't include the aquarium. We're gonna have to do the aquarium another day, but today there's lots and lots to see in the zoo. <laughs> so I'm in one of my uh, bubbles here. They've got these little bubbles, very, very clever. They've built them into where the wildlife are roaming so that the wildlife can behave more naturally. They've got some kind of like boulders going on around it as well. And we're waiting here to see some meerkats approaching this. This is, uh, we've just seen some kangaroos. The capybaras weren't there today, but they have an amazing pond as well, full of different kinds of flamingos. And lots of families out here enjoying this, so whether you're a nature buff or you want to bring the kids to check out some of the wildlife. So the zoo was renamed from the Biblical Zoo to the Tish Family Zoo in honour of the Tish family but it's still referred to popularly by residents of Jerusalem as the Biblical Zoo in Hebrew Gan Chayot Ha Tanachi. Now I mentioned at the start of the video this zoo has more than 2,000 different animals and a particular focus of the zoo is on uh, maintaining or maintaining small populations of animals that were mentioned specifically in the Hebrew Bible, which is called in Hebrew the Tanakh. That's how it's, uh, why it's commonly referred to as the biblical zoo. Another cool little fact about this zoo connected to uh, the places in and all that is that four to six weeks before the Jewish festival of uh, Pesach, which is uh, Passover in Hebrew, in order to maintain the kosher kosherness of the zoo and I guess of the animals as well if that's a thing uh, they begin swapping over from feeding the animals wheat based products to rice based products because of the prohibition that Jews observe during uh, Passover of not eating hamates and then afterwards they gradually uh, bring them back I guess these must be Sephardic animals if they keep uh, kidney oat and then they go back to their usual uh, diet lots and lots to see here African African animals um, animals from all over the world but particularly if you're a uh, big bible buff you'll probably be able to recognize some of them uh, from literally the pages of the Tanakh. <laughs> 